it's Megan again here on the Lawson Farm. So today is kind of a cooking video, kind of not. Um, I've had several requests uh, to compare our farm fresh eggs to grocery store eggs and our pasture raised eggs compared to our free range eggs. So today I'm going to be doing some comparisons for y'all. Um, some of the video you may just see my hands um, just so y'all can see the eggs well. So um, I'm going to show you what I have here, what I bought from the grocery store. First one, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but I don't own the rights to none of these name brands that y'all are going to see and all that good stuff. Uh, and nothing against none of the name brands that I'm going to show y'all, it's just where I happen to be and what I bought. So first thing is just Lowe's Foods Brands Eggs, uh, expiration date February 13th. So these are just your general white eggs that you buy at the grocery store. Next one, these are free range eggs that I also bought from the grocery store. These things were like $5. <laughs> um, but they are your pretty brown eggs. Um, so I'm interested to see, I've never bought free range eggs at the grocery store, so I'm interested to see the comparison with these eggs and our eggs. Um, but yeah, pretty brown eggs. Um, now it does, you know, people see this right here and they say, oh, these are local eggs. I'm going to buy those. Um, just make sure you're reading your labels before you jump to those conclusions. Cause actually these eggs, I believe it said they were from New Hampshire. Yes. Monroe, New Hampshire. So that's not anywhere close to North Carolina. Just a heads up, but they are probably still a good product. I mean, like I said, I'm interested to see, uh, I'm going to be learning today too. So Expiration on these are February 17th, so right beside of the Lowe's Foods brand. Um, the eggs I'm going to be comparing them to are eggs that I just got up today or eggs that are only a couple of days old. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I want to do, um, actually hold that thought. I'm going to, I've got some boiling over here because that's going to be part of our experiment. Hold on. So I've got some eggs boiling because we're going to look at those boiled eggs too. So first thing we're going to do though, we're going to look at the float test. Let me cut this extra light on. Ooh, that's better. <laughs> uh, so we're going to do the float test on these eggs to see how old these eggs really are, okay? Um, so this is one of my free range eggs here. That's what this is. So I'm going to put that in there. And then a pasture raised egg. These are also from our chickens. All right, I'm just going to show y'all here. As you can see, both of those eggs are laying completely flat. That means they are as fresh as you can get. They're not old at all because they are laying completely flat on the bottom of this water here, okay? Which we knew that because, like I said, I just got these up. Literally just a few minutes ago, right before I started the video. So, that was a given. All right, next let's do one of these free range eggs. Grocery store free range eggs. All right, very good. Let's see. Is it floating any? No. So, that's excellent. See there? That means these eggs are pretty well fresh too, okay? And we'll try a grocery store egg. Okay, so this is kind of what I wanted y'all to see. Can y'all tell, let me see if I can turn this where you can see. The bottom of this egg is kind of teetering. It's kind of floating up a little bit. Just the bottom of it. It's not laying completely flat. I wish I could get it where y'all could see this. Hold on. Hold on, guys. So see how that bottom is kind of trying to pick up a little bit? It's hard to see in the video, I know. Um, but it's wanting to kind of stand up on its end like this. So that means the egg is, of course, still perfectly safe to eat, but... That egg is going to be need, need to be eaten pretty soon um, because once they do completely float, then they're no longer good to eat. 
So that egg is probably about three weeks old, two or three weeks old, if I had to guess. Um, but of course, like I said, it's still not out on the expiration date. Expiration date's February. Um, but just wanted to show y'all that. All right, I'm gonna come down here so y'all can see me. <laughs> All right, so our next comparison is gonna be uh, frying the eggs um, over easy. The reason that's gonna be my test is because anybody that's ever cooked an egg over easy knows that sometimes that white is so runny that it's hard to flip. So this is gonna be our next test um, to see how each egg compares. And I am gonna crack open a new one for the free range grocery store eggs because I wanna give them a fighting chance. So. Um, we will, uh, that one egg was like super duper watery. So we're going to give them a chance and we're going to open another one for that one. So our first egg that we're going to do though, uh, I just got just a drop of oil in my pan. I'm going to do every one of them exactly the same. Um, and we'll compare that. So first one we're going to do is our grocery store egg and you're just going to see my hands. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. This is our grocery store egg. Gonna put it in the pan. All right, so it is about time for the flip. You see my egg there, how it's kind of spread out. This is the grocery store egg again. So we're gonna flip this bad boy and hope we don't break the yellow. All right, so that was easy enough. Our next egg is going to be um, the grocery store free range eggs. And like I said, I'm going to crack open a new one and give them a fighting chance. Um, you know, because that yolk busted a little bit ago. I'm going to put another little drop of oil. I want everybody to be treated fairly in this little test here. Something else I noticed on these, the, the, the shell is pretty soft. Yeah, these are... They're watery, but it didn't break the yolk this time, but look how that white is spreading out. Um, it's really, it's spreading out a lot. Can you see there? See that there? It's spreading out even more so than, um, than the grocery store egg. It's time for the flip. There's our egg. I'm gonna see if I can flip it about busting that yolk. So where that white spread out so much, it did fold up a little bit on me. But I don't think I busted the yolk, so that's good. So next is gonna be our personal chickens free range eggs. Another drop of oil. As you can already see, that white is not spreading out nearly as much as the last egg that we did. Uh, the yolk is a little more to the side. I'm not sure if it's because I just had it sitting in that plate, but um, that is what I have noticed first off with, with these. But this white did not spread out nearly as much. Time for the flip. There's our egg. You can tell it didn't, uh, the last egg almost filled up the pan with the white, but this one uh, did hold together a little more. I'm gonna see if I can flip this without, there we go. All right, last but not least is gonna be our pasture raised eggs from right here on the farm. Uh, these eggs we do take a little pride in because um, in our opinion, they are the best and you don't know till you try, but um, definitely can tell a difference. So here we go. Pasture raised egg. Holding together beautifully. The yolk is staying in the middle because this white is so, um, I don't know the word for it, constricted, I guess. Uh, it just holds together excellent. It's, it's great. They're great for cooking. Great. Time to flip. See how that's just holding together? Oh, it's so pretty. Can 
y'all see how that just held together? Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut into each one. I'm gonna show you the difference um, after they're cooked, okay? First one we're gonna cut into is the grocery store egg. Let's see what that looks like. All right, there's the grocery store egg. Cooked up pretty good, I mean, honestly. Um, and like I said, they come from Lowe's Foods and they usually have pretty high quality stuff anyway. So there's that. Next one we're gonna cut into is the grocery store free range egg. This is the one, if you remember, the white spread out super bad. So there's inside of that one. Okay, can you see there? Next is going to be our free range egg from our chicken. And this one, the yolk wanted to lay onto the side. So it wasn't held real well in the middle. Good and dark and delicious looking. Next will be our pasture raised. Look how pretty and dark that yolk is. It held together beautifully. Looky there. See there? All right. Last but not least, um, I did boil all four eggs to compare them that way as well. So I'm going to get those peeled. We all know that grocery store eggs peel the easiest. Reason being, they are the oldest. The older your eggs get, the easier they are to peel. So I'm going to get those peeled, get them cut open, and that'll be our last comparison for today. All right, guys, and here is the grand finale. Um, got my eggs peeled. Um, got them cut open. And you can you can see the difference. So... Uh, first one I want to show you, this is your regular grocery store egg. Okay, yellow is a little bit pale. That's our grocery store egg. Check this out. Grocery store free range egg. It's a little more yellow. Not a whole lot. Free range egg. And our pasture raised egg. It's got a deep yellow, um, which is what we're looking for. All right, I want everybody to be able to see this. So we have grocery store, free range grocery store, free range pasture raised. There are slight differences in the color and the look of the egg and everything. All right, y'all. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit. Uh, if you got any questions about any of this that I've showed you today, leave it down in the comments. Be happy to answer it or find the answer for you. Um, just remember, the grocery store eggs that I showed you were $1.99 a pack. The free range eggs that I showed you from the grocery store, $5 a pack. Any of your local farmers, most of them are even at the farmer's market. You can get them the same price or even cheaper sometimes. Uh, for a better quality product. So just remember to support your local farmer, support your local business, um, bring those urban dollars back to rural America. Um, I, I truly believe in that uh, and know where your food comes from. If you haven't seen that video, um, check that out as well. I'll try to remember to link it in here. Um, but anyways, like I said, hope you learned a little something, a little bit of a different video today uh, than my normal. But uh, we also, we reached 1,000 subscribers. I cannot thank y'all enough. Uh, such an exciting time for True Grit Southern Cooking and Cannon. Um, if you don't already, follow me on Facebook, True Grit Southern Cooking and Cannon. Uh, I'll put a link in the description and I also put a link to my Instagram, TG underscore Southern Cooking and Cannon. Uh, be happy to have y'all there too. I put um, different recipes, things like that, and each one of those uh, sometimes that I don't get to make a video about. So definitely check those out. Uh, I appreciate everyone's continued support. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, 
Uh, please give it a consideration, and I will talk to y'all next time.